Hey everybody, let's talk about session one. If you click the content button, you can come in and in your table of contents, click on session one, international perspectives. You see it contains five things in it, five objects. First thing being a checklist, then a welcome page that this video will be on, um, the session one activities page, this, is, this gives you a real good, really good summary of activities. Okay, so the checklist says do this and do that. And then the activities page is sort of parallel to that checklist. It'll um, tell you all the things that you want to be sure you do. Then the real meat, though, one of the big to-dos here that I mention is do your blog post. But this is the page you need to access in order to do your blog post. So th this is the page where the issue that we're exploring this during this session is actually housed. Um, and then this right here, this is enrichment. It's optional. It's very interesting too. Um, so that you don't have to do it, but you can. Um, I, I encourage it and I try to include one of these in every session pretty much. Alright, so let's quickly go look at the checklist. So you're gonna you can use this checklist. Remember you can check things off as you complete them. Um, be sure you've completed everything in the orientation module before you really begin the session. On the session one issue page, you're going to read and view the assigned materials on Pisa and Finland and write your blog response. And you're going to respond to two peers' blog posts on the Google community. And those are the main things you do in this session. I should probably add one more thing to this, maybe by the time you see it I will, which is declare your field experience. Complete the declaration of field experience. Um, I will add that so that by the time you get here, you will see that as well. Because I used to put that in session two, but now it's in session one, so that's something I need to update. Um, enrichment is to listen to the story of Marguerite Baran Kitze, also known as the Angel of Burundi. It's a really great story. All right, so I'll go ahead and click next. All right, on this page, you're watching. You have the video that I'm currently going through right now. Um, you've got the module objectives, what we're trying to accomplish in this session. I'm going to click the right hand button. And this is the um, summary of session one activities. The first thing I mentioned in here is the uh, field experience timesheet and reflection paper. And as you know, in order to even access this module, you've already done this. So I really like that, knowing that you've already done this by the time you get here. Um, and then, of course, inform me of where you're completing your field experience, the declaration of field experience. So again, I'm going to add this item to the checklist in this module, so it'll be there for you. Here's the blogging stuff. This just kind of just gives you a little information, general information about it. Uh, on the next page of the module, you're going to find the issue. Um, you're going to want to explore those materials on the next page and then respond on your blog. And then when you're ready, when you're done blog, you're done reading, listening, viewing, you're done blogging, you do submit that blog post to a Dropbox here. So you're going to um, paste the link to your blog post into a Word document and submit it to this Dropbox. That might seem a little confusing to you guys at first, but the reason we do that is so that I can give you feedback on it. I, I, yes, I have your blogs through the blog link survey that you gave me in the orientation session, and I, that that, what that does for me is it creates a quick resource where I can go and quickly go through your blogs as I need to because I'm constantly having to go check things on them. And so that allows me to go quickly access your blogs. But this allows me to um, actually give you private feedback on your blogs. All right. So sharing your blog post on the Google community and you want to interact with two other uh, peers posts so you want to check out what other folks have written. Here are some suggestions for ways that you can respond to your peers. Sometimes it's hard to know what to say especially when you're blogging about the same thing. That can make it challenging because they might have written a lot of the same thing you did. So these are just a few suggestions that may help you come up with something to say in response to them. Um, one thing I would like to say is please be sure that you comment on the Google community. So like if your friend, you know, your classmates posted here, like they post a link to their blog, post you post you need to post your response on the Google community. 
because later in the semester you have to you have to show evidence that you did this responding in the Google community. Um, what a lot of people accidentally did last semester, and they've done this in the past too, a few people anyway, is they actually go to the blog itself and they comment there, you know, on on your blog. That's not that's not that is not where we want you to comment. I want you to comment on the Google community because the really cool thing is in the end you can search by your name and it will show you all of your posts and you can quickly take a snapshot, provide that evidence that you interacted on that Google community. But that is an assignment that comes up later. So be sure when you respond to peers that it's on that Google community that you respond. You can, you're also welcome in addition to go to their blog posts and have you know more conversations there if you like. Um, A couple of tips here. It's good to call people by their name if you can um, when you're talking to them. And yeah, okay. I'm going to go look at the next page very quickly. So this is the way I set up an issue. I normally give you sort of, uh, I write up a, an introductory paragraph or two or three or four. In some cases, unfortunately, I, I've actually written like a whole uh, sort of essay that's drags on, but usually it's just a paragraph or two, just kind of setting the stage a little bit. And then I like to um, give you some materials to explore related to this big level, high level issue. It's an issue full of issues, should I say. Um, and I like to frame it around a few questions and give you resources that may help answer those questions. These are not questions that you guys answer. These are not the questions you answer, but they may be questions you answer as you read, you know, to help you interact with the materials. Um, this is the, the movie. These are four 15-minute segments of this one-hour movie. You get a, um, an hour of field experience credit for watching it, but you do need to give evidence through your blog po post that you've watched it. You can't just be really vague about it, okay? Um, so here's the blog prompt. Here's the question you have to answer. Do you think American schools are failing? If so, in what ways? If not, explain why. What, if anything, can we learn from the finished example? Give at least three specific examples of things you saw in the film. And by the time you get to the prompt, I may have tweaked it slightly. It may have slightly different wording, so be sure you read it when you get to it. Um, a few guidelines, right between 200 and 300 words. Um, more is okay. Cite sources, if you if you uh, need to. And that's about it. That's um, session one. Uh, again, this is the enrichment opportunity here. And as you can see, it's not showing up. And that's because it's being hidden. So I'm going to unblock it. I'm in um, Firefox. And I know to go down here and disable protection on this page. And that should unblock it so that it can then show. And it's just a 10 minute podcast, actually nine minute podcast um, about the Angel of Burundi. And I highly recommend it. I love, I love this BBC Witness podcast. It's incredible. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy session one. Uh, again, we're on the international level. We're kind of starting really high, high level. Um, and then we kind of drill down as the semester goes on. And so think about it. Some of the things that you learn in this learn about and read about in this session could potentially end up in your reflection paper. So it could be that you want to jot down some notes, um, maybe maybe keep a little journal throughout the semester if it helps you. But you know that's what the blogs are for, they're kind of a little journal. Um, but you might want to jot down some notes of things that you think are interesting because in that final field experience reflection paper I do want you to try to tie to the thing, some of the things you've learned. So try to jot down your takeaways as you go through the class, if you could. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to stop talking. I have made so many videos for you guys to watch today. I think you are going to be really fed up here during session one with all these videos. So I'm going to stop talking and let you guys get to exploring some really interesting materials. All right, thanks so much, and let me know how I can help.